This episode is going to be super quick and it's specifically geared to all of my nonprofit friends who use MailChimp. I know that you guys love the platform because it's free, but the templates are limited. So I'm going to show you how to make better looking emails in MailChimp using Canva. If you have not gotten access to my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. Profit world, we constantly find ourselves in a position where we need to communicate details to our volunteers, and there happens to be a lot of text involved. So one of the things that we can do to help our emails communicate more clearly is to break up the text with the use of photos and graphics. But we don't want to take forever creating these graphics so that it takes hours and hours just to send an email. So using the website Canva, I created these three graphics to break up that information and make it easier to communicate the points that I wanted to get across. So at the top, I created an email header image that I will use at the top of all of my emails that I send out in regards to the Rotary Foundation. All I need to do each time I email is to change the area on the top right and put the addition that it is. Then further down, I can put in graphics to break up the text. Right now, we're talking about foundation presentations to get in line for foundation month in November and our upcoming World Polio Day. So now that you see the finished result that I created in MailChimp, we're going to hop on over to Canva and I'll show you how these graphics were created. So the graphic at the top is an email header and you can get to that template by going to the search bar and typing in email header. And that will give you the proper size. You can either create one from scratch or you can select one of the available templates. And so as you can see, I selected this particular one. I added in the rotary logo at the top and I changed the colors to match the rotary brand. So if we click on this yellow, you'll see where I have the rotary yellow and the rotary blue stored in my Canva account. This is something that you can do with the Canva Pro account, which you can get for free by clicking on the link in my description and letting Canva know that you are a 501c3. So that's how I create the graphic for the top, and you can click on the text to change that for the different editions of your newsletter. After I created that email header, I wanted some graphics created so I could break up the text. And I didn't want them to be as wide as the email header at the top. So what I actually used was the SoundCloud banner template. And if you click on that, it'll give you a bunch of options on the side. And here is what my graphics look like. So I was able to take one of the graphics on the side, change the colors to match Rotary's colors, change the text to match Rotary's text. And then this particular one, I took an image I found on Facebook and I stretched it so that it fit into this area. So when I'm done creating all my graphics, I just click on download, I download all my images, and I'm able to drop them into MailChimp. And so this is a fantastic way that you can make your emails look better. If you are using a system like Pmail, you can actually copy the code that it takes to create this email and actually send this out using Pmail. So that's something specific to Rotary, but you can use MailChimp to send out emails to your nonprofit absolutely free by signing up for a MailChimp account at MailChimp.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget, you can go to LaShondaBrown.com, click on the very top, and sign up for my resource library because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, to talk for now.